there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, and I'm reviewing the Stocks Will Show Live Trading Room Advanced Trader Tracking for 2019. So this is from January through today, which is April 25th. So an advanced trader risk for the day trades is around 2,000. Some are a little less, some are a little more. Again, you can risk whatever you can afford. So you can take a beginner risk. With my system, you can risk whatever you can afford. If it's $50 a trade, fine. If it's $200 a trade, fine. <laughs> it's whatever you can afford. My system can be used for any risk amount, okay? But obviously, the less you risk, the less you make. The more you risk, the more you make. So you could risk more than $2,000 a trade, actually, and make more than even $154,000 plus to date with the system. So I, I want people to know the potential for what they can achieve with the system, which, you know, I haven't even realized that yet myself. But when people come to me and they say, well, how much money do you need to trade your system? You need to have a trading account. That's what you need. So wherever you can go and open up a trading account to be able to actively day trade, you can use that account to trade my system. Okay, so let's go from here. Good start to the year here. Great start to the year. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. And I have a lot of videos on YouTube, so it's probably the best place to follow me. So right now it's earnings season. Huge day today. A lot of good trades, a lot of good gaps. For those of you that don't know me, I focus on stocks that are gapping. We mostly focus on shorts, although we do also focus on longs. And earnings season is a great time to trade. Why? Because stocks that report their earnings tend to have momentum moves, volatile moves. How do you make money? You get money from getting in in the correct direction. So as a trader, as an active trader, this is what you want to do. If you get in a stock, for example, and the price is moving higher, and you get in before the move happens up, then you will make money if you were long. And consequently, if you short a stock, which if you don't know what a short is, that's something I can explain in another video, but if you short a stock, if the stock price drops, you can actually make money as an active trader shorting it. And if you get in at the right price, you can make money even if a stock is dropping, if you're shorted, okay? So each day I look to find the right stock to pick that's gapping, that rates per my system. And if you wanna come and learn my method, that is what you would learn from me, okay? So it's very specific. I try to look for one ticker symbol a day, and sometimes we do more than one, but I do try to hone in and focus on the highest rated one, the best one of the day. So starting out at the beginning of the year, off at the beginning of the year, then SPY was first trade was a loser, second one winner on the 8th. 9th through 11th closed, I was sick. Lulu was a winner on the 14th. Netflix was a winner on the, on the 15th. It was a nice one. 17th was SIG that took one retake, first one lost, second one worked, and the third trade worked. AXP was a loser, and QQQs was a winner on the 18th. Market was closed on the 21st. 22nd was SWK. That was a very quality gap, very nice gap. The 23rd was COF. 24th was MKC loser. QQQs was a winner on the 24th, and Starbucks was a small gain on the 25th. Cat was a winner on the 28th. GME was a winner on the 29th. The 30th was a wild day. T, first trade loss. Second trade small winner. Q's was a loser. Retake worked was a winner. And SPY was a winner on the 30th. The 31st to close out January. X was a winner. Q's was a winner. And V was a loser. And remember, and I said this earlier, earnings season tends to have the most opportunity, the biggest opportunity, the greatest opportunity for you to make money as a, as a day trader, okay? So right now we're in the quarterly earnings season that's gonna run into the end of May. Uh, February, no trades on the first. Fourth was no trades. Fifth was off. Sixth was EA, that was a loser. Twitter was a nice one on the seventh. Carb, first trade lost, second trade was a winner. On the 11th, no trades. 12th was UA was a loser. Gil was a winner. Spy was a winner. 13th, Tiva was a loser. Spy was a loser. Second trade, retake was a winner on the 13th. And top, first trade loser. Second trade loser. That just failed. That gap failed. 
MGM was a winner and Cisco was a loser. 15th was a SPY. Nice winner on the 15th. The market was closed on the 18th. WMT was a winner. CVS on the 20th, first trade loser, second one winner. DPZ was a winner on the 21st. KHC was a winner on the 22nd. Room closed on the 25th. CAT, first trade loser, second one uh, was the HD, and that just didn't work out, and neither did SJM. So that was just a losing day on the 26th. And sometimes you just got to know when to cut it. But then came back again the 27th, nice gain in WTW, and a huge one in HPQ to close out the month of February. Then in March, so first trade in the SPY was a loser, second one big winner, QQQs was a loser, TV day off the 5th, TRIP was a loser, Target first trade loser, second one winner, KR was a winner, COST first trade loser, second one big winner in COST, and then, then there was also the option in COST, that was just an amazing gap. Uh, the 11th, no trades. The 12th was SFIX, Stitch Fix, sorry. Uh, that just didn't work at all. The day trades failed in the Stitch Fix. The 13th, off. DG was a loser for the first trade, small one, and then nice gain on the second trade in DG. And no trades on the 15th. 18th was OSTK, which lost. Spy was a loser, Facebook big winner on the 18th. DSW was a nice gap on the 19th. FDX, first trade loss, second one won, and the third one was a loser. That was a wild, wild gap. GES, first trade loser. CSIQ was a winner on the 21st. Nike was a winner, no trades on the 25th, and a TV day off on the 26th. 27th, Len lost. Then the second and third trade worked out beautifully. Lulu was a winner on the 28th, the 29th off. Spy was a winner. On the second, WA was a loser. On the first and second try, and then the third trade set up well. Winner. Q's was a winner. The Q's was a winner on the third, and the SPY was a winner on the third. Fourth and fifth off. BA was a winner on the eighth. BA was a loser on the ninth. Disney, huge winner on the ninth. 410, again, was a Disney. Two losers. Q's worked, and the SPY winner on the tenth. BBBY was a loser on the eleventh. WTW was a winner, was another WTW huge one, on the 11th. 12th was Dizzy again, winner, winner. 15th, QQQs was a loser. And then second trade set up winner. Dizzy, first trade loser, second one winner. Qs was break even on the 16th. And the BAC was a winner on that same day. Then in here too, we're getting into the last couple days of, of April. The 17th was IBM, loser. QQQs was a loser. Second trade, small winner. And Apple was a huge winner on the 17th. The room was closed, 18th and 19th, the holiday. And the market was closed as well on the 19th. 22nd was Apple. That one ended up going huge, which is really funny looking back. And so did Facebook. But small winner in Apple. Facebook, small, but it, both these trades actually ended up going to the dream targets. Twitter was a winner on the 23rd. 24th was IRBT. Two trades, both winners. 25th was Mo. Big one, right out of the gate. MMM was a loser. That's funny because that ended up going huge too if you redid it. XLNX was a winner on one and two. And it's interesting because you'll learn in the class, if you take my Golden Gap course, you'll learn how to do a retake and why you would do a retake. That's something I go over in the second day, day two of the class. Anyways, again, I was discussing this earlier. What's an advanced trader risk around two grand? So you can risk less. I mean, if you don't, if you don't have the capability of risking two thousand dollars a trade, say you risked half that. So instead of being up one hundred fifty-four thousand dollars year to date, you could be up half that. Okay, what's wrong with that? If you'd risked a thousand dollars, you would have been up roughly seventy-six grand or thereabouts. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Okay. So at the end of the day, you really have to think about what you're willing to risk, what you're willing to sacrifice. And again, you could risk $500 a trade. You could risk $300 a trade. You could risk $200 a trade. It is totally, totally, totally up to you. You yourself have to determine the risk that you're okay with. And after the class, I tell people, start out slow. Risk $100 bucks per trade. So if you risk one amount, you're looking to turn over one. So for example, Say you risk, like I said, $1,000. What are you looking to make 1000 
Now, what if the trade goes to the target and you're only up 850? Well, you're not gonna knock it out. Again, this isn't an exact science. Something could go to the target and be a little bit more, a little bit less, but you're typically looking for one, okay? So it's all about financial freedom. If you're looking to make money and work for yourself as a day trader, you can come and learn my strategy and my method. It works. So make money day trading. This one particular strategy, you learn it in the Golden Gap course. You can do it for option swing trades or active day trades. You must take the Golden Gap course. However, it is a prerequisite to join the live trading room. So the Golden Gap course is April 27th to 28th from 9 to 5 Eastern time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You could be anywhere in the world and take it. Sign up early if you want to secure your spot. And I do have people already signed up, but the deadline is actually tomorrow, the 26th. Um, and I wouldn't waste any more time in case the class gets full. Uh, you know, this is a good time to trade. And I've been on point. I've been making a lot of great calls. It's a good time to join and be in the room. If you want to do the trends course with the Golden Gap, it's May 20th. It's a combo deal. $64.99 classes online. Do not miss out. Okay. Again, it's earnings season. It's a good time to get all these trades. Now, if you want to do the options trades, they're different trades than the trades I just reviewed here, which was the trading room. These are options trades. They get emailed to you directly, and there's no prerequisite. It's an annual letter. It's $49.99 a year. Trades are emailed to you. If you want to sign up for this, just to do the options, you, again, you wouldn't learn my method, but you'd get the options trades. Email me, sign up, and again, a lot of nice calls. Have a great day, everyone. Email me if you're interested in the Golden Gap course this weekend or the option letter. Have a great day.